The third season of Bridgerton is steadily approaching and new information about it has finally come to light. So let's check out why this next season is considered to be the most scandalous one yet. Bridgerton is one of the most successful projects made by Netflix and it's no surprise that people want to see more. Recently, we could watch a prequel about Queen Charlotte, but nothing will replace the original series. And now the third season is finally around the corner. The next season is surprisingly going to focus on Penelope Featherington and Colin Bridgerton. And their journey to find the love of their lives. With Penelope being also Lady Whistledown, the drama is pretty much bound to happen. But the story wasn't supposed to be told this soon as the fans of the book series already know. It should have been Benedict's season instead, but the explanation for why the writers decided to go with the Penelope and Colin storyline is very simple. The audience is familiar with the two characters and the tension between them was building up from the beginning and it's time for Colin to realize Penelope and his own feelings. And what a story it's going to be. Everybody is excited to see how the childhood friends to lovers trope is going to play out. But before we reach the lover stage, there has to be a lot of character development. The last time we've seen Penelope was after her argument with Eloise who found out that Penelope is the one and only Lady Whistledown. Even though Penelope was flying under the radar and no one could really guess that she's the author of the scandalous gossip in the next season her two worlds are about to collide and she'll need to face the consequences, Nicola Coughlin said about the new season in the interview, it's the most scandalous one yet I would say and we take her word for granted. We know that Penelope loves Colin because it was implied in the previous two seasons but what we don't know is what kind of feelings Colin has for her in the two previous seasons it was a friendship but he's about to change his mind Nicola said in the interview that the season is truthful to the books which means that we're gonna see Colin in denial and Penelope in her so-called reputation era every fan can remember the scene where Colin is talking to a group of his friends and telling them that he'd never consider Penelope suitable for his wife the whole group is laughing but Penelope who overhears him is left brokenhearted but she's not going to be sitting ducks and being ridiculed by the gentleman instead she'll create a plan for how to move on from Colin and starts to look for her options. She needs to find a husband who will provide for her enough that she can continue being Lady Whistledown. Meanwhile, Colin is bound to go through a personal development if he doesn't want to lose her to another man. Bridgerton is famous not only for its depiction of romance but spicy scenes as well. In season two, however, the fans were left disappointed as those scenes weren't featured as much as in season one. The complaints were heard and this season is about to change the game again. Nicola said in the interview, it's a spicy one. It's a lot of the stuff from the books that the fans expect. One of those scenes was already teased when Nicola and Luke disappear into the carriage during the promo for season three and is supposed to be super steamy. Another clue of how hot the next season will be is a confession that Nicola made in the interview during the premiere of Tudum. According to her, she and Luke broke a piece of furniture while filming a specific scene. The duo clearly understood the assignment and will deliver what's expected of them, but the filming experience wasn't as pleasant for the duo as some people might think. Nicola and Luke are great friends, which made the shooting more difficult and awkward for them. According to Nicola, she and Luke read the book with Penelope and Colin's story during the first season and made fun of it because they couldn't imagine the shooting of that story. But the reality came fast for them and they ended up really kissing and not just pretending as they would wish. Luckily, they made it through because of their ability to make fun of the situation. Nicola said in the interview, there was one day where we we had to sort of do a very romantic, beautifully written romantic scene. And we were just like peeing ourselves with laughter because you just have to like look into each other's eyes. And we were like, oh God. Nicola also called the season the most romantic one yet. And we could finally see the snippets of what to expect from the continuation as Netflix finally shared some stills. The gazing and the tension are noticeable even in the photos, which is quite an achievement, but that's not the only thing which is noticeable. Their appearance slightly changed. A Colin has finally returned from his summer holidays and he brought with him a completely new look. The fans pointed out that it's clearly Colin's season because he had a major glow up from the hairstyle to the clothes he wears and he finally looks like the lead of a romantic story. What's more, the fans might have noticed that each family has their own color of clothes, which represents their ambitions. The bright yellow, which is associated with Featherington's girls, is a symbol of their trying to climb the social ladder in the ton. But slowly, the colors of Penelope's clothes are starting to change. The bright colors were exchanged for a more toned down dress of green and blue colors, which is a sign of her union with Colin as the Bridgertons wear blue and lavender. In the photo shared by Netflix, we can notice that Penelope wears a seafoam dress, which is a result of Penelope being 
being overshadowed by her own family to be embraced by Colin and the love that he feels towards her, but she doesn't look very happy in the photo and there might be several reasons for that. One of them is her silent treatment of Colin who returned from his travels, but Colin is fed up with her acting so he offers to mentor her in finding her confidence, which will help her with looking for a husband. Their little plan is set to fail from the beginning. Another photo shows Penelope and Colin standing next to each other and smiling like they shared a secret conversation. It looks like they're enjoying themselves. At the same time, Colin looks like he's about to learn that he's in trouble and that his plan is backfiring because he did a really good job with his tutoring. But things might change really quickly between them as in the last shared pic, Penelope is staring at Colin and the tension could be cut with a knife. It looks like something big is going on there. Maybe at that moment, Colin confessed the undying love he feels towards her, or maybe he made some kind of proposition to Penelope, but we'll have to wait and see what will actually happen. We're about to also see more of Kate and Anthony who got their happy ending last season. But now the Viscount and Viscountess will have their hands full with responsibilities in the Bridgerton family because they're the heads of the household. The Bridgerton family is a handful to say at least, so Kate will need to adapt as quickly as possible because the shenanigans will test her patience. It sounds dreadful, but we know that Kate is not a quitter. According to Simone Ashley, Kate is going to be content with Anthony and their marriage. We could see her undergoing massive character development, which feels resonate in the new season. Simone said in the interview, I think you're going to see a much softer side coming this season. In the beginning, Kate could be seen as a little bit annoying at times, but love is a miraculous thing and now Kate's softness is going to bleed through her marriage and funnily enough, her wardrobe as well. What's more, Simone shared that she wants to see the pair become parents and that's something that the fans will agree with her. It'd be nice to see a little Bridgerton or little Bridgerton as Anthony's dream is to have four children and Kate agreed during their romantic dance. The sad news might be that we won't get to see the Duke and the Duchess. Phoebe Dynavore, who portrays Daphne and Regis Jean Page, who portrayed Simon in the show, aren't returning in this season. Phoebe's role in season two was reduced to a few scenes and Rage didn't appear at all. Phoebe said in the interview that this time she wants to enjoy Bridgerton as a viewer, but she's not opposed to taking over the role sometime in the future. What's more, the prequel miniseries Queen Charlotte is going to change the game in season three. According to the creator of both shows, Shonda Rhimes, Queen Charlotte had some story secrets and points of the story that will be played out in the third season. The official date of when the show will hit the streaming platform wasn't revealed yet, but a few social media accounts of Netflix shared the date and immediately deleted it. Unfortunately for the admins of the accounts, people managed to get screenshots and shared them with the whole internet. According to those posts, Bridgerton is supposed to return on December 14th. The date might be accurate, as it was already teased that the show will return somewhere in December 2023 or January 2024. It's still a long way to go, but the wait will be worth the season full of drama and romance, which is upon us. Are you ready for the third season of Bridgerton? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.